Welcome to Club Academia, where curiosity meets knowledge. Today, we're tackling a puzzling question in atomic physics. Why does a hydrogen atom have less mass than the combined mass of its individual parts, the proton and the electron? Let's break it down. A hydrogen atom is the simplest atom, consisting of just one proton in its nucleus and one electron orbiting around it. You might think, Okay, one proton plus one electron should equal the mass of a hydrogen atom, right? But here's the twist, that's not the case. To understand this, we need to talk about a concept called binding energy. When the electron is bound to the proton, they are not simply floating together, they interact through electromagnetic forces. This interaction does something interesting. It causes a change in the total mass of the system. Now, let's break that down. The mass of a proton is about 1.0073 atomic mass units, and the mass of an electron is approximately 0.0005 atomic mass units. If we add these together, we should get a total mass of about 1.0078 atomic mass units for our hydrogen atom. But here's where it gets interesting. The actual measured mass of a hydrogen atom is minutely less than some of its parts. This brings us to the concept of mass defect. When protons and neutrons come together in a nucleus, some of their mass is converted into energy which holds them together. This is described by Einstein's famous equation, E equal to mc square. So, when the hydrogen atom is formed, a tiny bit of mass is lost in this process. In the case of hydrogen, this mass defect is incredibly small but significant. The energy that binds the proton and electron together in the atom means the total mass we observe is slightly less than the sum of the individual masses. Mass defect is the difference between the actual measured mass of an atom and the sum of the masses of its individual protons, neutrons, and electrons, meaning that when these particles bind together to form a nucleus, a small amount of mass is lost due to the energy released in the process. This lost mass is the mass defect and it is a key concept in nuclear physics, indicating the stability of an atom's nucleus. This discrepancy can be explained by the concept of potential energy. When the proton and electron are brought together to form a hydrogen atom, they experience a strong electrostatic attraction. This attraction lowers the potential energy of the system. Here's the key. As the electron orbits the proton, it's in a lower potential energy state than when they're separate. This drop in potential energy is crucial, it means that energy is released during the formation of the atom, and as we know from Einstein's equation E equal to mc square, energy is equivalent to mass. When the hydrogen atom forms, some of the mass of the individual particles is converted into energy that binds them together. This binding energy is what keeps the atom stable and explains the mass defect we observe. As you move across the periodic table, elements become more complex with more protons and neutrons. Each added nucleon, proton, or neutron contributes to the overall binding energy and therefore, the mass defect. So, this concept is true for almost every single element in the periodic table. Oxygen exists as a diatomic molecule, which means that two oxygen atoms bond together to form an oxygen molecule, represented as O2. Each oxygen atom has an atomic mass of about 16 atomic mass units, so you might think that two oxygen atoms would simply weigh 32 atomic mass units, right? But here's the twist. The actual weight of the oxygen molecule O2 is slightly less than 32 atomic mass units. Why is that? This brings us to the concept of binding energy and mass defect. When two oxygen atoms bond together to form an O2 molecule, energy is released in the form of binding energy. According to Einstein's equation, E equal to mc square, energy has mass. So when the oxygen atoms bond, some of the mass is converted into energy. This means that the mass of the O2 molecule is actually less than the combined mass of the two separate oxygen atoms due to this conversion of mass into binding energy. So, in essence, when two oxygen atoms form a molecule, they lose a tiny bit of mass, resulting in the oxygen molecule weighing less than the sum of its parts. When the universe was formed, the primary element created was hydrogen. 95% of the atoms in the universe were hydrogen, 5% were helium, and trace amounts were lithium. This occurred within the first few minutes after the Big Bang. 
heavier elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron were created later inside stars through nuclear fusion processes. So, without the mass defect occurring during the formation of hydrogen and helium, and later in stars through fusion, the universe would not have the complex structure we observe today. The very formation of galaxies, stars and planets, and ultimately life, relies on these fundamental processes. In summary, mass defect is not just a quirky atomic phenomenon, it's a cornerstone of our universe's creation story. It explains how the lightest elements formed shortly after the Big Bang, and how heavier elements came to be, leading to the rich, diverse cosmos we inhabit. If you enjoyed this dive into atomic physics make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell for more intriguing science explorations on Club Academia. And remember, keep questioning and exploring the amazing world of science. Until next time take care.